What's up, legends? It is that time of the week again. It's Sundays with Sammy, which can only mean one thing. It's time for another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Now, if there's two things I get requested all the time, it's tailor fishing sessions and catch some cooks. So today, I thought, bugger it. I'm gonna combine them both. Now, there's many, many people out there that believe tailor do not belong on the dinner plate, and I'm here to show you today, once and for all, that that is absolutely incorrect. Taylor fresh is absolutely sensational, and the way I'm gonna cook it up for you today is one of my absolute favorites. But, little, little problem first. Gotta go out and catch a few. So, gonna hit the rock wall, see if I can't get a feed, and then we're gonna come back in the kitchen and cook them up. Stoked to have you all tuning in for another Sunday. Sit back, relax, grab a beer, and uh, enjoy the video. Cheers. Two hits. Frothing. Live bait. Decent sized chopper. Well, wasn't that a good bit of fun? Pretty rough out there though. Um, yeah, there's a few sketchy waves that come through. So just hot tip for everyone, if you are gonna go rock fishing, make sure you check out all the conditions. Make sure you've got an escape route if a big wave comes. Make sure you got really good footwear. I always wear rock spikes. Wouldn't go on the rocks without them, so make sure you get yourself a pair, because if you slip from somewhere like there, it's gonna be very, very bad news. Now we're gonna have the Taylor beer battered. Now if you can think of a better way to cook a piece of fresh fish, then I'm all ears, but beer battered, absolutely unreal. Now for those guys who are turning their nose up right now, going, oh Taylor, you can't eat that, that's bait. 
grow up. Grow up. If you can't handle a fresh piece of tail up, then you shouldn't be fishing and you probably don't eat fish and you're afraid of flavor. So switch on. We're gonna make some batter first because that needs to rest in the fridge for a little while and then we'll fill it our fish. But this is what I'm currently dealing with. It's not the uh, usual cooking setup I'm used to, but I reckon I can still make some magic happen. Time to get that batter cranking. Okie dokie, it's time to make this batter up. So I try as I might, I couldn't find a measuring cup, but you're gonna need about a cup and a half of self-raising flour. So I'll just use a normal cup and put the old iometer into use. Yeah, I reckon that'd be a bit right. Maybe a touch more. Now I'm not gonna cook up a massive amount of fish. I'll probably only fill it one of those fish up. Just enough for a meal. Um, no point going overboard. I reckon that'll do it. Now, we're gonna need an egg, single egg. Let's make a little hole for it. See if I can do this without getting a shell into it. Oh, look at that. Master chef. Ditch that shell. And now for this recipe, you're gonna need two beers. I've already opened one. And this was purely for quality control, just to make sure it's good. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, it tastes about right. Yep, beautiful. Now I'll use the rest of this one, then I'll start on this one. But yeah, you wanna, you wanna drink that first one yourself, just to make sure it's of top quality for cooking. You don't wanna be caught, get caught short. It could uh, ruin your dish. Mm. Uh, okay, so I put a bit of beer in. Right, well, I tested that one really well. Might have to move over to my backup. You wanna add a little bit of beer in there, and then you wanna do the big mix. Now, don't add heaps of beer at a time because you wanna um, add it gradually as you go. Oh, look at me making a mess. Lucky this isn't my kitchen, I'd get shot if it was. Now, what you're looking for, the end result, you want it to be a slightly thick soup, like a, uh, like a pancake mixture. But it's easier to add more than to try and fix it if you add too much. So see how it's clumped together there? Need a bit more beer. You just wanna slowly add more and more beer and mix it together until the consistency is right. If you add too much, you'll have to add more flour and it'll get, a, get into a uh, bit of a pain in the bum. All right. Uh, don't worry about lumps at the moment. They'll slowly mix their way out as you add more and more beer. See that? See how it's all sticking together? That's looking good, but you still need more beer. Slowly add it in. I'm sure you guys would love to watch me stir this until it's just right, but I might cut through till uh, once I get the consistency right, and we'll go from there. Yeah, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's like a pancake mixture. Maybe a little bit more runny than a pancake mixture. Like a thick soup, I reckon. Now, that's the one. Now, you actually have to leave this, or I recommend you leave it in the fridge for about half an hour. Now, I have no idea what the uh, actual reason for that is. I'm sure it's something scientific, um, but that's how I was taught. That's how, what the recipe demanded. So, I think it's only fair that we follow it and give it the uh, respect it deserves. So, we're gonna chuck that in the fridge for half an hour. But the best part about that is, is it gives you plenty of time to fillet your fish and uh, probably finish the rest of this beer. Mm. Righto, so while our batter is resting, we're gonna take care of our tailor. Now, obviously this is not where I usually fillet my fish. We're on holidays at the moment. So I'm gonna have to make do. I've got two cutting boards side by side. It's not my fault I catch big tailor. It's, uh, it's my cross to carry. But we're gonna fill them up. We're gonna leave the scales and skin intact because I'm gonna skin these fish. You don't really want skin in your batter, um, in your battered pieces of fish. So we're gonna fill it him up first. Nice solid fish, these ones. But to fill them up, same process I use for most of my filleting. You do that cut there, run the knife along the backbone, and all the way down to his tail. Flip them over near where the uh, anal fin is, all the way to the backbone, flip them over, and do the exact same again. Now, there is plenty of other ways to fill it. This is just a nice, simple method and you don't waste much meat. Go like that. Now I grab my other knife. Actually, I didn't do my final cut there. 
grab my other knife, run it through, peel the fillet back, and just pop the uh, the pin bones in. I want to try and leave the rib cage in because it's less work, so run the knife along the top of the pin bones, like so. One fillet done. And do the same on the other side. Move this guy to the side. Might flip me boards over to work with the fillets. Okay. Time to get the skin off. Now, the skin, start your knife, then just run it along here. Use this hand to pull the fillet rather than using your knife to push forward. That um, stops, you, or generally stops you cutting through. Yeah, you watch, I'll jinx myself here. What oh, didn't go through, safe. Get rid of that. There we go. Now we're gonna take out the pin bones, which are the bones that run up the center there. They don't go too far back, so it's all good. Now, when you're gonna batter fish, you want it to be in nice, small, crunchy pieces. The old um, novelty of it is the crunch. So I'm gonna cut it into little little fish bites so I can get maximum batter on there, make it nice and crunchy. And um, yeah, have more batter per piece of fish. So that's the size I'm going for. You could probably even go smaller if you wanted, but there is a point when it goes a bit too far. And the last bit. Beautiful. Righto, time is up guys. How's our batter looking? Whew, not bad. Might just give it a quick whisk. Yep, it's gonna be good. Put some oil in your pan because we're gonna be shallow firing that. You wanna get it nice and hot. I'm gonna chuck a fair bit in there because the bottom of this pan isn't flat so it's gonna be a pain in the bum, but that'll do. A bit more, that'll do. You wanna get that nice and hot so your batter it's nice and crispy. Now while we're waiting for that, and to enhance the crispness of our fish, we're gonna put some plain flour. See that there, plain flour in a bowl. Just a bit. We're gonna roll our pieces through that. It's a good chance to get any scales off too. Chuck them all in there. You can use a plastic bag as well if you want and, um, and just shake them through. But the bowl's easy enough. And this just helps to um, put another another coating on there so they go super, super crispy. Righto, it is go time, guys. We're going to put the fish from here into the batter, then into the hot oil. Now, I am going to turn this light on so you can see. Unfortunately, it comes with this annoying exhaust fan. There's nothing I can do about it, sorry. But uh, if you have a good shirt on, I would suggest you take it off, guys, because and change it to something else because this is a fair chance you'll get splattered here. So I'm gonna do exactly that and change shirts. Uh, put an old crap one on and then it's time to uh, time to get cooking. Righto, got an old comp shirt on. It is go time. Just do a quick little tester, see how we're going. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that pan is ready to go. So first bit of fish. Actually, I probably should put a big one in first. Straight from the batter. Oh, got both. Straight from the batter into the pan. Oh, listen to that sizzle now. You gotta keep an eye on them because they will cook pretty quickly. That oil is very hot, similar to like a deep fry. You can use a deep fryer actually. Um, but yeah, you gotta keep an eye on it. Oh, look at it puff up. Delicious. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, you gotta, gotta be on the ball with it because it will cook quickly. Look at that. Nice and golden brown. I might just get a plate ready. Put it on. And some paper towel. Look at me making a mess. Oh yeah. Have a go at that.
Yeah, definitely give them a good drain because you obviously cooked in a fair bit of oil, so you don't want to be eating all that. Now let's quickly get these other pieces in. I feel like a chef when I do that. A bit of lemon. A couple of bits of fish. <laughs> See how these jibbies are looking. Yes. Yeah, we got calamari as well. He's going to be a first class feed. You little ripper, these, the rest of these ones can go on. Yep. I'll tell you what, dinner is served. How good does that look? A bit of light, crunchy bit of fish, calamari and some chips. I reckon it's only fair to give it a bit of a taste test. Well, have a go at that guys, beer batter tailor, and I'll tell you what, it looks good. Let's see if it tastes good as well. Have the crunch. Mmm. I'll tell you what, fresh tailor is pretty damn hard to beat. And then that little beer batter mi mixture with the crunch, unreal. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked or learned something, make sure you crush that like button. Leave us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, there is new fishing videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications. Guys, I'd love to stay and chat longer, but I've got to eat this while it's still hot and fresh. Tell you what guys, I'll catch you next week. Plenty more fishing action to come. Catch you next time. Mmm, beautiful.